So what were you doing 11 years ago? At this time, I was getting my hair done. Why? Because we have a wedding, or we had a wedding. We had a wedding. It's Friday morning, and I'm heading to the gym early again this morning. I have a bunch of early patients today, and then, um, oh, tonight I have to bring my dad to the airport. He's going back to the Philippines to attend his brother's funeral, his oldest brother, who's actually 25 years older than him. I think he lived till 89. He was a general in the Philippines, the general to uh, President Marcos back back in the day when President Marcos was the president of the Philippines. But um, he'll be there for two weeks and we're gonna bring him to the airport, say goodbye. And I stepped on the scale again this morning and no change. Still 168.5. I guess I'm hitting a plateau, but that's okay. We'll keep plugging away. So what were you doing 11 years ago? At this time, I was getting my hair done. Why? Because we have a wedding, or we had a wedding. We had a wedding? I was here with Mason 11 years ago. Right, Mason? What? Were you here with me 11 years ago in this very room? No. I was here with a bunch of my groomsmen. Oh yeah, you were here. <laughs> I was living in this house. I wasn't in this house. <laughs> Not yet. And you took over the closet that's in the suite. And you took over the other bathroom outside and I came here and I'm like, I have so many clothes and shoes and here you can have two, the, the other, the other rooms. So Mason, do you understand what the anniversary is? It's what this happened here. Oh. When we got married. Yes? Oh. You still don't get it, huh? Good workout today. I did another 13 kilometers in one hour. It wasn't as easy as the past couple days. Felt a bit of a struggle, but I plugged through it. My low back's a little bit sore today though. I'm, I'm not sure why. And also my right hamstring was twingy a little. But I'm gonna head to the clinic right now for some patients. It's another Friday and I'm on my way to work pretty early today. Uh, this weekend is pretty jam packed already. But of course, first, let's get through this Friday. I'm bringing a Hayden and Mason over to my mom's just and slept over and I just woke her up because it's already quarter to seven and I'm about to start in well seven and uh, Tonight we will be taking Nick's dad over to the airport. He's going to the Philippines for a couple of weeks For a sad visit uh, his uh, oldest brother passed away recently so he will be uh, seeing the arrangements too and uh, Nick's uncle he is I think almost 25 years or 25 years older than Nick's dad. Nick's dad is the youngest of the family, hence Nick and uh, his brother are the youngest of all the cousins. Um, but uh, I had the privilege to meet up with uh, Nick's uncle. We used to call him Uncle Pete. And he was quite integral to the electrification of many rural provinces in the Philippines. He was an engineer by trade and he became a general uh, in the army. He had a lot of military training and he even had a letter from uh, General Carter, I think, in his house thanking him for his efforts for electrification again for many rural places. When we first went there as a family in uh, 2004, no, 2009, we went to visit the Philippines and Mason was just four months old. We were taken to one of uh, the more remote towns in the Philippines and uh, his latest project there was of course providing electricity to the people there. So he was very uh, proud of himself and of course it's an amazing feat to be able to see your work uh, help so many people. So uh, the world has lost another very good man and we were very privileged just to have met him a few times when we went to the Philippines. Here I am checking out Marina's textiles to get some um, massage therapy sheets for our clinic at a wholesale cost. I'm pretty excited. Whenever I need uh, some supplies for our, our clinic, I usually have to go downtown to a location. And of course, I mean, I can buy stuff online, but then they tag such a huge shipping and handling fee that I would pretty much prefer to drive there by myself and pick up more supplies if necessary and I have the van anyway. But uh, a friend of mine just told me about this uh, sheets 
warehouse outlet here and it's like so close to our house and the sheets are even cheaper than the sale price that I usually go to so I feel like that location downtown even goes to this place to get their sheets and it's right in my backyard so I was very happy with this find because it saves me a whole lot of time I feel like I don't have time this weekend and even next week so very happy about this massage therapy sheet place they also also provide sheets for like hospitality places hotels uh, convention centers all of the above that you can think of so now I'm going back home I'm actually on my lunch but I'm going back home because I need to grab some gym clothes I forgot to pack that this morning in my rush to get out of home so I want to work out after work I need my workout clothes the day is finally done and I'm escaping work uh, funny thing not too long ago, a girlfriend of mine who I, you know, see on the occasional kids' birthday parties or Christmas gatherings, she texted me looking for a contact information from one of these guys that we used to hang out with in high school. And I'm like, you know, how easily do we lose touch with people that we hung out with 24-7 a lifetime ago? It's amazing. And um, I'm, see, I'm going to see if Nick actually has this guy's phone number. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I think she just wants to get in touch with him because, like I said, they were close at one point in our younger lives and there will be definitely people we're gonna just lose in touch with because life gets crazy busy I don't know how else to explain it I mean here I I do try to keep in touch with a number of friends from high school still and a few from university but mostly I mean I married my high school sweetheart so I keep in touch with Nick and uh, there is there is a good number that I do keep it in touch with but for our number two you know you wonder how does that happen where you are spending a good chunk of your time your younger self and then you just completely lose touch with them you don't even know how to look for them i don't even know if this guy's parents still live where his parents used to live oh and in any case today is also mine and nick's wedding anniversary happy anniversary so it is 11 years today that we got married and uh, we didn't make any big plans we are going to philadelphia so maybe that would be part of our it's quasi you know celebration lots of eating out and everything but because we were both trying to be so good really i don't really know what to gift him because a he got quickie lego quickie mart lego quickie mart lego yeah and like i said by being good we're abstaining as much as we can from being bad and eating and uh what else is a better gift to a man than through his stomach isn't that what you all tell me so i am now heading to get my kids i'm hoping to run a 5k on the treadmill it's a very lovely day outside but you know i am trying to listen to the wisdom of my mother about all this aging stuff and really steering away from sun exposure because sunspots they happen they happen and uh, as much as i try to uh slather on and bathe in spf i don't think it really works but that said um prevention is key oh my goodness i'm so excited now after thinking that there will be no momentous celebratory dinner for our val our valentine our anniversary and 11 years is pretty hefty you know that's like almost halfway through the second seven year itch really uh, my boyfriend nick called and said hey do you want to go for dinner after bringing my dad to the airport i'm so excited because i thought he was never gonna feed us no so i mean there's all these places around the airport but uh i thought it best if we meet up at his parents condo which is pretty much in uh, central mississauga and then uh, from there we can grab a bite to eat after but he can meet us there from work so he's not wasting all this time coming all the way home and then back to his parents house you know so yay i'm so excited we might celebrate something later i might get like a an oreo cookie an oreo cookie smoothie i'm so excited already that means I have to run my 5K or seven. Long day at the clinic, but I'm all done for today. I'm gonna head to pick up my dad now. We're, we're gonna pick up my dad, bring him to the airport. He's heading to the Philippines tonight for two weeks. And then after that, we're gonna go out for some anniversary dinner. I was asking Maria what she wanted to do, if go to the keg or Swish LA or sushi, but then she said, what about Jack Astor's? And we haven't been to Jack Astor's for a while. I know this will take a toll on my weight, probably gain another four pounds or something like that. Cause I like getting my burger and maybe an appetizer at Jack Astor's. I know Tristan's probably gonna order some nachos with cheese. Not sure what Maria will order. And Mason kind of just picks out my fries. But we're going to head now to pick up, well, I'm going to head now to pick up my dad. Actually, I think uh, Maria said I was supposed to drive to Jack Astor's, park my car there. She's going to pick me up, 
and then we're gonna go to pick up my dad at his condo. And just had a very quick workout, only 30 minutes on the elliptical, and then I realized it's already 7 o'clock, and Nick's gonna meet us over by Jack Astor so we can get his dad at the airport. And then, when I was getting changed, this girl, who is clearly more than 12 years old because she's taller than me and has bigger boobies, uh, uh, she's like, hey, do you have a hairbrush I can borrow? Who does that? Who borrows a stranger's hairbrush? I mean, I could have clean hair, but could you? We're on our way to the airport now, and look how gorgeous these buildings are in our hometown. Just dropped off my dad at the airport, we headed to Jack Astor's, but the lineup was just too crazy. The parking lot was full. So, and then we were thinking about Swiss Chalet, but then the boys were asleep in the van. So we just decided for Pizza Pizza. And I'm going to go pick it up. I know this is going to take a toll on the wait, but it's our anniversary. Pizza night. We haven't had pizza night in a long time. So that's what we're doing. picked up the pizza we have a gluten-free pizza here for Tristan we have a large pizza and an extra large pizza I guess when we get home I'll show you what we got Plus some drinks however they didn't have any Nesky for Tristan just Diet Coke so I might head over to Sobeys the grocery store pick up some Nesty for Tristan. So here's our anniversary pizza there's a gluten-free pepperoni for Tristan they gave us a case of Nesty? no I got that from Sobeys for Tristan and then there's um pepperoni extra cheese and what's this one onions olives oh and red onions I almost didn't know what to order yum, this yum. is our restaurant because all those people were asleep already by the time we got home I'm getting some wine <laughs> and we're gonna watch Modern Family sorry they didn't have any nest tea it's okay is that okay what? No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got something for you. I almost forgot. Dun, da, da, da. Happy anniversary! We don't want you to drink the whole thing, really. You didn't have to get him to have like powdered nuts. Dun, da, da, da. Wow, your dad loves you more than. I love you. I love you, but I'm not You're running tomorrow. No. Imagine that was just a gift all wrapped up and it's a box of nuts. <laughs> Yay! If you enjoyed our family vlog and you want to see more, Click that like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment in the comment section. We love to hear your thoughts. And if you want to see yesterday's vlog of Maria's day off where she got a haircut and she just gallivanted around, went to Costco and a whole bunch of other things, the link is down below. See you guys next time.